Today I'm thrift shopping Amarillo. I have my Cam Park V30 strapped to my chest so you can see what I can find. My thrift venture coming up on Thrifty AV. First stop, the Salvation Army Family Store. Let's see what they got. Apparently I haven't mastered the skill of turning on this camera because I was not rolling in the Salvation Army, but I can show you what I found. This is Slim Whitman Vintage Collections. Here is George Jones, the songs I want to sing, which appears to be a greatest hits package. Here is Sarah McLaughlin Mirrorball. This CD is not already in my collection and I have most of the rest of her stuff and Lady Gaga, the fame monster. I also picked up Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer 50th Anniversary Collector's Edition on Blu-ray. So here's my haul from the Salvation Army Family Store. Next up is the Romero Thrift Store at 1117 Southeast 10th Avenue. This small store was so tightly packed that it was hard to see all that was offered. The shelves had a lot of knickknacks. Browsing the CDs, I didn't see very much. They had some 8-tracks, but none were quadraphonic and they were priced too high. These old Sansui speakers looked interesting, but I didn't see a price and I didn't want to ask. The VHS tapes were buried behind a pile of clothes. This old radio looks interesting. More media on this shelf, but nothing worth grabbing. I left the store empty handed. Next up is the Bargain Warehouse at 816 South Grant Street. This is more of a furniture store than a thrift store. This Optimus receiver might be okay, but it was priced too high, so time to go to the next shop. There are two thrift cities. The one at 525 Southwest 10th Street has my kind of stuff. They had a large selection of DVDs, but nothing I really wanted. They also had several bins full of vinyl, but nothing that suited my taste. I checked out the odds and ends in the electronic section. This old burglar alarm looks interesting. I like old organs, but this is not going to fit in my car. But what really interested me were the CDs that were three for a quarter. Nothing too exciting, but I still found 15 titles that I may be able to trade. I already have this promo title, but I'm pretty sure I can find a home for it. So here's my haul from Thrift City 2. Next is the Got Junk Thrift Store at 1600 South Washington Street. The DVDs were individually priced, and those individual prices were high. I considered this four-pack of classic horror movies until I saw the $5 price tag. Nothing of interest in the CDs. I was surprised by the lack of vinyl. They had quite a few cassettes, but nothing I wanted. Also a lot of VHS tapes. Slim Pickens in the electronic section. I already have two weather radios. This one lacks a power adapter. I left Got Junk empty handed. Next up is America's Best Thrift Store at 3015 Plains Boulevard. What a name. The media was all tucked away in the corner. The stacks were a little jumbled, so I had to dig. I've been wanting this Halloween record for a while, but it was just an empty jacket. I've heard of Al Stewart, so I grabbed this one. Not much of interest in the CDs or the cassettes. They had a wall of electronics, and this cassette deck caught my eye. The name badge was missing, but I recognize this as a Pioneer unit. I found a place to plug it in, grabbed a cassette, and tested both wells. So here's my haul from America's Best Thrift Store. Next stop is Back and Forth Thrift and Gifts at 1765 South Avondale Street. They had a lot of stuff outside the store, including a messy pile of VHS tapes, but I didn't see anything worthwhile. Items $20 or less were buy one get one free. The records were tightly packed, but I glanced at a few of them. I didn't see anything interesting on the CD shelf. Here's a shelf with electronics on it. And here's the good stuff. A JVC cassette deck, a DBX224X noise reduction unit, and some other stereo gear. This old radio looks interesting. The DBX unit was marked $40, but checking eBay completed listings, they go for around $100. I asked to see if it powers up, and it did. I then asked if they could budge on the price. They dropped it to 30 
That's all I picked up from back and forth. It's about time I got to Goodwill. There's only one of these stores in Amarillo. This aisle looks promising with lots of audio and video gear. CD and DVD changers seem to be the item most available, none with remotes. This old Sony CD player is straight from the 80s. They had some forehead hi-fi VCRs, no remotes. NAD is a good brand, but they wanted $40 for this receiver. It does have analog surround inputs. The CD and DVD prices were pretty high here, which might explain the huge inventory. Vinyl was priced better, but sparse. Same with VHS. This piece of furniture looks like an old console stereo with no stereo inside. I left Goodwill empty-handed. Next up is the American Council for the Blind Thrift Store. CDs were a dollar and they had stacks in front of stacks. Some digging revealed two keepers. They had a bunch of VHS and DVDs, but nothing I really wanted. They had a shelf full of game controllers, and on that shelf I found some Atari paddle controllers. Old paddles are sometimes faulty, but I know how to fix them. This sharper image video projector is interesting, but it's older and probably standard definition. Here's my haul from the American Council for the Blind Thrift Store. Next up is the Habitat for Humanity Restore at 2626 Paramount Boulevard. All the media was clustered on one shelving unit. DVDs, VHS, CDs, records, and cassettes. With tapes stacked in front of tapes, I dug around for a while but didn't find much. If you want thrifty exercise gear, they have you covered. Typical for Habitat, they have a lot of furniture. I checked out the computer monitors, no great deals there. Not AV gear, but I found a good pair of gloves for a buck fifty. I went back to the CDs for a second look and found Urban Chipmunk and two computer games for my mother. Here's my haul from Habitat for Humanity. At this point I was getting hungry, so I stopped at Taco Villa for some Supreme Nachos. I would say that's a successful thrift venture. I've been wanting an outboard DBX unit for a long time. It's always good to have another working cassette deck. I have some spare Atari paddles and a lot of music to either listen to or trade on my trading sites. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty everyone.